Hey YouTube, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about two very important workout supplements that really were, are game changers when you're going to the gym. Uh, keeping a pump, increasing strength, increasing your endurance so you can get more reps in, and also uh, being able to increase your weight uh, whenever you're at the gym. So um, there's a big, there's a, the two big supplements that I'm talking about are creatine and nitric oxide. So Creatine versus nitric oxide, which should you take? Well, the answer is you should probably be taking both because one is going to help the other. Creatine is going to help nitric oxide do its thing, and nitric oxide is definitely going to help creatine do its thing. And when they're working together, you're basically going to get twice the results. So I'll start with creatine. So creatine is something that comes in powder form, capsule form, um, and you take, you take it and... Creatine's job is it's all all the food, um, all the nutrients, amino acids, everything you're taking to to and eating to build muscle. Um, creatine helps you uh, bring water to your muscles, which is going to help bring those nutrients to your muscles and um, nourish them. Get, you know, keep them well hydrated so that when you are working out. The, the additional hydration that your muscles have is going to it's going to keep them working longer, harder and be much more um, have much more endurance overall because they're well well hydrated. You're going to have that extra strength and uh, it plays a key role in something called ATP that our body has, which is our num our body's number one source of energy or fuel. Um, when when we run out of ATP, it's it brings our bodies to a screeching halt when it comes to uh, whether it's running or especially lifting weights. Well, you know, whenever you're lifting weights and then you're you're trying to get up to the halfway point and then it's just you stall out. That's when your ATP levels are have uh, run low. And what creatine does is it it, it uh, helps replenish those ATP levels so that um, they stay high, so you can work out longer, work out harder get a get more of a burn which in tune uh or in turn is going to make your muscles stronger because they were able to do what other, you would have otherwise wouldn't have been able to do if you didn't um if you did not uh take creatine so that's what uh creatine does um of course it's really important to drink a lot of water um i try to get close to a gallon of water um a gallon of water is recommended a day, you're also going to notice better results with that, but because it is sending more water to your muscles, you want to make sure that that the I mean they are going to look more full. You're going to get that effect from it, which is part of why it's there's a lot of hype on it. But it's not like that's just all water weight. Like some people say, oh, it's all water weight, whatever. It is sending more water to your muscles, which is bringing more nutrients to your muscles, which is helping them grow faster, work harder and longer and therefore they're getting stronger and so when you're trying to get that new level of definition on your triceps or whatever it might be or a, a bigger chest anything like that you're not going to be able to do that unless you put you push your body to a new peak a new level um so that's creatine very uh important a huge game changer in the world of weightlifting and building muscle the second is um nitric oxide uh nitric oxide this is how they work to this is how they work together you'll understand when i finish this um and you'll get more information in the link below as well as some recommendations if you're looking for what supplements you should use so nitric oxide uh nitric oxide is a great supplement in that it helps you increase your pumps uh in the gym and it does this by increasing blood flow to the muscles and uh therefore it's it's helping your heart it's helping your veins and arteries do their thing but then you're also getting that additional vascularity and pump so that like, you know, you know, whenever you do jumping jack or if you if you haven't done jumping jacks and then you're, you know, your body feels pretty stable, like not very you're you're not really pumping a lot right now. Like you have a slow heartbeat um, and then you do 10 jumping jacks or 20 jumping jacks and then you feel this pump in your arms and your legs. You, you feel the, the rush of blood going through your body and it feels good because it feels you feel stronger. You feel better like you like you feel like you can go lift something or you feel like going for a run. That's what nitric oxide does. So it's good. Uh, as you'll see here, pumps, performance, recovery. I'm going to get on this a little bit. What I recommend here. 
and you'll find a link in the description as well for both creatine and um, nitric oxide. So with, when you're taking creatine and you're taking nitric oxide, what that's doing is that the creatine is sending that water, the nutrients, uh, everything to your muscles. And then also the blood flow, which is what's helping pump and fuel your, your, your body to like be able to lift that thing or push whatever you're pushing on. It, uh, that is giving you the adrenaline, the push, the blood pump, and also keeping your ATP levels high because you're taking creatine, right? Um, so you're going to, you're going to have less fatigue. Uh, you're going to notice you're going to be able to go way longer in the gym. So you're going to be able to work out harder and push your body to new lengths. Um, and you're going to get more of a pump and the pump is definitely noticeable when you're taking nitric oxide, uh, because you, when you usually get tired at six, you'll be at six and you'll be like, Oh, I can do three more. And that is the beauty of nitric oxide. And it's a great feeling. Um, and then as you're taking it, maybe after a week or whatever, you'll be like, I, I can do an additional 10 pounds. And you're going to be like, wow, last week I could only do, you know, 95 pounds with shoulder shrugs or whatever. Um, and now I feel like I can do 105, but now I'm not tired. That's because creatine's doing its thing with ATP, keeping those levels where they need to be. And nitric or, or um, nitric oxide is, uh, it's helping pump all that uh, ATP, keeping it flowing through your muscles so they're uh, well hydrated, well nourished, and then um, keep keeping the blood flow so it's strong, it's healthy, and you're able to do the exercise without hitting fatigue. So that's why they're very important. Uh, even if you were just taking nitric oxide by itself in the gym, you're going to notice a difference. You're also going to notice uh, the more vascularity more um more just more of a pump and uh, i mean it's hard to describe but purpose uh, pump is the perfect word for it so with that being said um if you want some more information on this and some recommendations i'll start with the the creatine i um i think i said enough about that i i left a link in the description it's in water for it's in a powder form so you just add it to your water it tastes like nothing uh you really wouldn't even know it's there um and so you just add that it's uh, five grams is uh, so a, a level teaspoon would be uh, a dosage. Uh, some are about two and a half, depending on the, two and a half grams, depending, depending on the supplement that you're taking. Of course, make sure you're drinking water when you're taking these supplements, um, especially creatine. And then the other supplement that I recommend that I really like because it doesn't have both. Uh, most Some supplements will have both. But this is uh, Nitrix, and I have the link in the description for you there, too. Uh, that also has the lowest pricing that you'll find. Uh, again, a lot of um, health food store health stores do not carry this, especially grocery stores or even health food stores will not carry uh, this. So it's best to find it online, so I left the link in the description there. Um, so Nitrix is great. Um, it's a nitric oxide precursor. Uh, a precursor to ni um, NO2 or nitric oxide is uh, arginine or arginine, however you want to say it. I, I usually say arginine. Um, it is a precursor to nitric oxide, meaning to produce nitric oxide, you need uh, arginine. Arginine is going to help with um, more vascularity and it's going to help this work even better. So if you're looking at to, this is why they call it stacking. If you're looking into stacking creatine and uh, nitric oxide, perfect combination to put together. Um, and of course, double the results because they're both helping each other work in unison with each other. So um, nitric oxide, uh, nitrix is not expensive. Uh, this is like, uh, this is a 60 day, uh, this last, this is 60 servings. And I take it before you go to the gym. You take the creatine before you go to the gym, preferably about 20 to 30 minutes before. Uh, I'd usually do 20 minutes. Um, and um, this comes in pill form, as you can hear. Um, pretty easy to swallow. Uh, it's like two to three pills. Usually I just take two. If I know I'm gonna work out really hard and get the most out of it, I'm gonna take three pills. Uh, yeah, this is three tablets per serving. And so, um, even if you don't want to try creatine, just nitric oxide by itself, you're going to notice a difference and you're going to notice uh, the difference in definition of your muscles too when you're working out. They're going to be fuller because the blood is going to be pumping a lot more. Your muscles are just going to be look a lot more full. You're going to feel the way your, your t-shirt's feel, feeling or fitting a little differently. And that is how you know it's working. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, 
Again, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll have more on these with supplements. I'm going to be doing a lot of health, health food, um, health supplements uh, related to training and overall health in the future. That's what this channel is about, as well as some exercises related to training certain um, body parts and muscles. So uh, please subscribe for that for uh, new videos. Um, and yeah, again, the link is in the the links are in the video for both the creatine that you can use, very inexpensive, and the uh, uh, nitrix is also very inexpensive as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and have a nice day.